it's it's a so sledgehammer reminder yes definitely yes go ahead sir uh, it's a, d a deadly reminder that's what i would like yes. to say yes yes sandeep is there is there anything in this report i mean uh, one of the questions i uh, uh, you know when i tweeted about this story a short while ago we had we had a lot of people actually comment in it saying uh, you know if these details have been there with the investigative agencies why haven't they been released to the public domain this is something that the country needs to know about why has there been so much secrecy about these details i mean this was something to do with the murder of a national leader sandeep well shiv uh, uh, firstly the details are uh, there were something like 10000 pages 15000 hmm. pages of uh, uh, evidence that was gathered by the sit it's one of probably the most complex investigations yes. ever attempted by an indian investigative agency literally thousands of pages and these the diary entries of sivarasan were probably some buried somewhere in there and yes. but then later when they were analyzed they they realized that some key um, uh, connections between the accused between the uh, about the finance the the preparations for the assassination they they were all right here in this diary so yes. it was it's quite possible that the diary and the end fall that clutter yes and and uh, and about the delhi plot this this plot was actually um, it was discussed but the supreme court in its wisdom uh, overruled it in 1999 all the accused connected with this were acquitted and yes. they're all uh, they migrated there some of them are settled in switzerland they did not prosecute them Oh uh, that was another astounding uh, aspect I mean Amazing. after 8 years of uh, imprisonment yeah. But you know Sandeep uh, uh, a follow on question to that is with these revelations coming out now and you know th there will be several people who haven't you know had a chance to look at I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about people from investigative agencies who perhaps had a chance but to look at it all collated and you know put down in this sort of manner it's going to have a great deal of shock value isn't it Yes certainly I hope it does because uh, I mean it just tells you how complicated and how uh, fiendish this entire plot to yes. murder Rajiv Gandhi was and it's it's not as if the uh, seven accused who are being let off by the Tamil Nadu government are entirely innocent I yes. mean at least five of them are hardcore LTT uh, intelligence cadre I yes. mean I I'd, I'd like to uh, show you this photograph here of uh, one of the uh, accused yes. santan he here he is disguised as a congress uh, uh, you know a congress party worker worker yes sri yes. perambudur and you know what is he doing there in in a you know disguised as a congress worker yeah. here right in front of the prime minister yes. and this is just moments this is just moments before the human bomber moves in and uh, assassinates the prime minister so and these are people who are claiming uh, uh, who are asking for uh, mercy and clemency uh you know despite being part of such a dastardly yeah. uh, assassination attempt and and I'm astounded at the political parties who've jumped in and uh, in fact uh, uh, Mr Karthikeyan says that he he really fears that uh, they would actually be released and they would become uh, some kind of martyrs yeah. and be used as election symbols even uh, you know Randeep Singh Surjewala your party has you know has has been buffeted with criticism about the politicization uh, you know of terror cases for many years now so uh, it, it's not like the congress party can step back and talk about this one case but do you hope mr surjewala that this this report by sandeep punithan would in some way awaken the consciousness consciousness within the country uh, you know not just about what the tamil nadu government is trying to do but send out an overall message about how these are terrorists and the politics must always be at arm's length from these issues sir Shiv, I agree. Let me remind you and your viewers that it is the Congress Party which lost two prime ministers successively. First, Mrs. Indira Gandhi, and then Shri Rajiv Gandhi. That's, that's why I said at that. At the yeah. hands of terrorism, we also lost Sardar Bain Singh, similarly the chief, former Chief Minister, to the hands of terrorists. There has to be in this country zero tolerance for terrorism, and there can be no compromise on terrorism. irrespective of the political color or views of a political parties and those who indulge in politics of terror need to be punished severely by by the by the people of yes. this country and by law of this land and terrorism cannot be a matter of compromise it cannot be a matter of politics it cannot be a matter of expediency it's about national integration and it's about national honor and that is how everybody okay. including political parties need to treat it okay i final i want to leave the last word with colonel hariharan colonel hariharan do you feel optimistic at all 
that politics can be separated I, from the way details, explosive details of such operations I, are regarded, uh, you know, by the public and the people I, of India, I, especially I, politicians. I, I don't, I, I don't think it is such a bad thing that politics is uh, connected. Mm -hmm. It can be turned into positive energy it also. It can, yes. Why we think negatively? Positively, That's like because US of the history, the history of the political level. interventions in in these issues, sir. Exactly. So it can be turned into positive energy. I think yes. the political leaders have to be become conscious of uh, these uh, critical issues. Okay. I don't think they are now very critically examining this. How to add value to the country's governance? Clearly not. They're not. That that, the the whole problem is that they're not, and there hasn't been any positive sort of involvement or interference in terror cases. But we're going to leave it there for the moment. An amazing cover story in India Today magazine. I urge you, the viewer, to go out and get a copy of it and read this story in detail. The details are absolutely astonishing. They've never been reported before. Thank you very much, Randeep Singh Surjewala, Colonel Lal Hariharan, and of course, Deputy Editor of India Today, Sandeep Punithan, for bringing us well the story done, and joining us on Center Stage.